Now to Oyo, where the state government has announced Oluwa Tomiwa Omolewa as the new chairman of the park management system in the state. Governor Makinde, who made this known through a statement signed by his chief press secretary, Sulaiman Olarinwaju, said the appointment is part of the reorganization of the park management system and backed upon by the state government. Olaide Oyewole reports, and after this report, we'll bring you updates in business. Stay with us. And also our vision is to have... On the 29th of May, Governor Shei Makinde announced the dissolution of the disciplinary committee of the park management system. This development led to the automatic sack of the chairman of the PMS disciplinary committee, Mukaila Lamidi, popularly known as Auxiliary, who had been the leader of the parks for four years. This decision did not go down well with the sacked parks leader as he was declared wanted after the police received an intelligence report of his plan to create widespread carnage and civil disturbance across the metropolis. The Ohio State Police Command. The police, in a swift reaction, carried out a raid on his hideout where several arms and ammunitions were recovered and thugs loyal to him were arrested. We were able to foil an attempt at creating widespread carnage and civil disturbance in the state by some members of the park management system led by one Alaji Mukaila Lamidi, a.k.a. Ozila. Various identified transport operators group. So, Governor Makinde constituted a committee that recommended the harmonization of transport operators in the state and the constitution of an interim leadership of the PMS. I assure the government of your state that what they want, they will see it. That is some of a revenue generation. The result is the recent announcement of the former secretary of the PMS, Oluato Miwa Omolewa, who will be heading the parks for another four years in the state. In his reaction, the newly appointed parks leader promised to contribute to the overall growth and development of your state's transport sector. The government also ordered the reopening of the parks, which had been under lock and key following the dissolution of the PMS. Oladio Yewole, TVC News, Ibadan.